Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I'll be showing you how to use Rotato.xyz to uh, market your designs and prototypes and uh, show them off in popular device bodies, such as the iPhone XS, the MacBook Air, and the Samsung TV per se. So, let's get started. First, we start out with choosing our device. Right now, we have the iPhone XS selected, but if you press change device, you can see that you have many enabled. So all these are pretty self-explanatory besides the universal, which is simply just a box with rounded corners if you don't want any device. Then we have the background. And then you can change the color of the device itself. You have many colors available to you and you can make it any custom color that you want. It could even match your company's color. So if I want to make it a line, then I could simply just click on the line, but I'll just keep it at black. Then you can actually change the shadow intensity of the device. It automatically has a contact shadow behind it. And then you have the clay device. Uh, which essentially makes it a complete matte finish all around. Even the cameras and the ports have a matte finish. Then we have the labels option, which allows you to simply put a label on any part of the phone you'd like. Uh, you could put a label on the side saying iPhone, and you press the check mark button. Over here, you can see we have the different device positions, and you can see how we can utilize these later in the animation setting. I'll just go through them one by one. This is the bottom of the phone, then this is the top of the phone, and then this is a great old side view. If we go into the animations folder, you can see that we have some custom pre-built animations, uh, and we can add them simply by just clicking the plus icon. Now you can actually change the duration of these uh, clips, but I wouldn't recommend if you'd like these pre-built animations. If you're doing custom animations, then go ahead. And as you can see, it actually plays by quite smoothly. Whatever the clip is before the keyframe, that is how long the duration of the animation will be. And if you'd like to have more precision in how the animation will play out, you can simply click the clip with the animation settings and you can actually change how the animation will look, like an ease in, ease out, or a default curve, or how long the animation will be, which as you can see changes how long it will be. So you can actually change it to an ease in out curve and play it by. As you can see, it eases in and then eases out. If you click this drop down menu, you can actually see that there's uh, lots of position elements for you to play and uh, to really tweak your animations to make them look great. Then we have the final tab, which is the lens function. I'm not going to display how the focus blur works out because I don't exactly have a lot of devices, but if you have devices lined up uh, one by one and you want to have a blur on the very back, let's say there's this phone and then there's another phone and then there's another phone, you can actually press focus blur and have the phone in the back blurred out. This is a really great feature for adding a sense of realism. HDR and post-processing, you can add automatic or this reflection environment, which I really like. Uh, if you add a reflection environment, then you can choose a certain environment. As you can see, this changed to a grassy landscape, or you can disable it and just have the default lights on the device itself. Now I'll show you how to uh, properly set up animations. So let's add our first position, which is this, and then press the plus icon over here. I want to make this animation about 3.13 seconds long, sure. And then we add our second position and then add the keyframe. And then we simply play it back and it does exactly that. And again, you can add as many, many of these as you like. You can click this and then add another keyframe and then simply tweak the animation like such over here. To this position and that's pretty much it for the learning curve on rotato you can play with the software however you like so you can click the report record button and attach your phone and it'll actually display your phone screen on here in real time i can't attach my phone because i don't have a lightning cable connected to my computer right now uh, but you can actually record what's on your screen and then display it on the following device that you have to finally render your movie you can actually uh, press the render movie button and it will render the whole video and then it will save to a certain location uh, Or you can press a snapshot and it will simply just take a snapshot of your current environment But that's all for today If you did like this video and if you did like this tutorial, then please make sure to drop a like Please subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. See ya